Hi, I'm Seth the Guitar Guy at www.theguitarguy.org. I've been teaching guitar instruction for a lot of years and I've developed a method that helps people learn the guitar fast. I like to give different tips and suggestions in some of my videos. The other day I taught you how to change the strings on a guitar. I also showed you how I stretched them a little because strings will stretch if you put new ones on. Now, there are different ways to tune a guitar and I, as I picked this one up today, I played it, I found out it was a little out of tune. So, here is a tuner that I like to use and I just clip it on the guitar and it works off the vibrations of the strings. Here is another tuner that I have used a lot. This tuner you can see it has all kinds of lights on it and the reason I use this one is because I play several instruments. This tuner is actually more of a just an instrument tuner rather than a guitar tuner and because I play several instruments I wanted to buy this one. Now it still works as a guitar tuner. See how they're both in the green? That's the gold, have both in the green. It shows the name of the string, A, and then it shows that it's in tune. Okay, so this one is just a little flat. Well, it's really close. And so, you'll notice as I talk that it lights up. This one does pick up everything else, but the good news is you can plug it in if you have electric guitar, acoustic electric, and you can tune without any interruption from any other things going on. Now, with all the technology we have going on today, you can get on your iPhones. This tuner is one right off your iPhone. Uh, the app is about $4 on ClearTune. And so if you have uh, an iPhone and, and you get this app, you've already got the tuner and you don't have to go to the expense of the other tuners. And you see it's got the, it, shifts here and it's, as well as a dial here so I'll play the sixth string which is E and see how it's moving it's, and it's just a little flat and then also it's getting really close so I want to tighten it just a tiny little bit and try again and then A fifth strings See how slick that is? You've already got your tuner. That's really good news, isn't it? Okay, so I just wanted to quickly check this one by using the tuner. Because, I, again, I, I noticed it was a little out of tune. So I'm going to play the sixth string. Remember, the sixth one is the big one. As I play it, I can see that it's flat on my tuner. So I go up and put it into E. Now, the next one is A. I want to tune it up to A. And they're about the same as being flat, which is probably pretty typical, meaning that they've just been stretching. Now I'm gonna to go to the fourth or D string, and I'm gonna tune it again up. And yep, again, they're all just about the same as far as being flat. Then I'm gonna to go to the G string, which is the third string. This one's not quite as bad, but it's still a little flat. Okay, and then once I have it in tune, I'm going to go to the second string and check it. That one wasn't bad at all. Okay, so now I'll go to the first string and tune it up. Now, when I've put new strings on my guitar and I just tune it like I just did, then I go back and check it again because as I go through the strings, it might pull the others out of tune just a little. Nope, this one is a sixth string, is right on. A is right on. Fourth is a little flat, so I'm going to pull that one up just a little by tightening it. Okay, third string is a little sharp, so I actually tuned it a little too sharp. So I'm going to loosen the string a little, get it back down to G. And now second string is right on and first. Now once I've done that, I always like to check it again. I just play in something I know. To make sure that I have the sound I like. So, subscribe, 
set the guitar guy and follow me on Facebook.